Hi everybody. I have been reading a lot of books with Sophia lately and I wanted to share with you one of her favorite books that also happens to be one of my favorite books. It's called This Is Sadie. And I love this book, A, because I love all of the illustrations. They're really beautifully done. But I also really love the story behind it, which is all about Sadie using her imagination. So when I read this book, I want you to think about ways that you are and can use your imagination while you're home. And I think you'll be able to come up with some really great ideas from this story. This is Sadie by Sarah O'Leary and Julie Morstad. This is Sadie. No, not that. That's a box. Sadie is inside the box. Wait, do you hear? Sadie says she's not inside the box at all. I'm on an enormous boat, she says, crossing a wide, wide sea. Sadie sails all the way around her room and back again, and it still isn't even time for breakfast. Sadie has learned to be quiet in the mornings because old people need a lot of sleep. Look at all the details in that picture. What do you think she's building? When it's time to start the day, Sadie tidies her room and then she chooses a dress. Don't tell the others, she whispers, but you are my favorite. Sadie's perfect day is spent with friends. Some of them live on her street, and some of them live in pages of books. Sadie has been a girl who's lived under the sea. She has been a boy raised by wolves. Oh, she's got such a good imagination. I wonder if she's coming up with these ideas from books that she's reading or from things that she's coming up with in her mind. Sadie has had adventures in Wonderland. And she has played the hero in the world of fairy tales. This is Sadie. You probably think it's a tree, don't you? It is, but way, way up in the top is Sadie, chit-chatting with the birds. What do you think she's doing in that tree? You think she's using her imagination some more? Sadie has wings, of course. They are just very, very hard to see. Still, she knows they are there. Maybe you have them too. Have you checked? Have you? Sadie's wings can take her anywhere she wants to go and they always bring her home again. The days are never long enough for Sadie so many things to make and do and be. Sadie likes to make boats out of boxes and castles out of cushions. But more than anything, she likes stories because you can make them from nothing at all. This is Sadie and this is her story. The end. I really, really like that book. It has given me a lot of ideas about things that I can do around my house, like take an old box and turn it into a fun castle for me and Sophia to sit in or build a fort with all of the couch cushions and pillows. And it's also given me a lot of inspiration about writing some stories and drawing some pictures. So 
I wonder if you'll sit down in your space in your room or a cozy little spot. And I wonder if you'll come up with uh, something to write about or draw about or build from something as simple as a box. I challenge you to that. Go have some fun.